Jason with DrPreMed.com. I want to continue our series about post back programs and what you can do as a pre-med student who needs to do a post back program to improve your credentials for medical school. I want to tell you something that a physician, an MD, PhD from the University of Chicago, who's also the anesthesiologist, what he told me when I went to post back program, I did a special master's, he said, no matter what you do, Jason, protect your GPA at all costs. So as a pre-med student who needs to do a post-bac program because you didn't have the best grades in undergrad, what you need to consider and remember is that you're now, this is your second chance. Your master's program is your second chance. So you can't mess this up. You can't do subpar. You can't have below a 3.0 GPA in grad school. Otherwise, you're not going to get into medical school. This is your chance. You need to live and breathe medicine and everything that you're doing from this point forward if you're seriously committed to becoming a doctor and getting into medical school. And so with that, what you want to do is you want to choose a master's post back program because you're going to take graduate coursework because that's going to allow you to have new grades on your transcript and when you apply to medical school. And it's also going to show to the medical schools that you're a capable student. So yes, you slipped up, made some mistakes in undergrad, but now that you're taking these rigorous coursework, you're actually performing well, excelling well, and we don't think you're going to be a risk if we invite you to our medical school. Because you have to think of things from the perspective of an adcom. They want to accept students who are going to go to their medical school, but more importantly, they're going to do well in the medical school and they're actually going to graduate from medical school. And so by you coming to them not having the best grades as an undergrad, that's a red flag. And when there's more applicants and seats available, it's easy for them to dismiss you and say, hey, we got somebody else who's more competitive. We don't have to worry about and so that's why you need to do a special master's program. And I'm a, I'm a huge proponent and fan of special master's programs for students who are in a bind like yourself and need that second chance. One reason in particular is that you actually get the chance to take some of the first year medical school courses. So you're going to take courses alongside the medical students or you're going to be taught by the same professor that teaches medical students and you're going to take the same exams and tests and they're going to be able to gauge your performance and that's going to be something that's going to put an ad comment a lot of ease to say okay you can do the work we saw how you compared to the incoming medical students and you did very well and so we trust you and we have confidence that you're going to make a great medical student and ultimately go on to be a great um, physician and I want to caution you when you're choosing post back programs and master's programs you can do it independently you can do it um, in a group cohort setting you can make your own schedule but I'm a big fan of people who do like the special master's programs and I said I know for some people you don't have that luxury to do things and you might have to do it on your own but just be very cautious of where you're going to do these programs at because post back programs are springing up all over the country everywhere you go a new school is announcing that they're doing a post back program and you have to think outside from just you and yourself and that you want to be a doctor these are money makers for schools think about it they're going to charge you anywhere from up to thirty thousand dollars to fifty thousand dollars to get a master's degree because they know that you want to get into medical school and you're willing to do whatever it takes to make that a reality but not all programs are created equal and so you can't go out and spend thirty fifty thousand dollars end up at the wrong program Program that isn't going to give you the tools, the skills, and most importantly, help you improve your credentials so that you can be a competitive applicant for medical schools. And you have to think the medical schools have been around for a long time and they know the track history of the different programs, what type of students fare well in their program, and things like that. And these are things that you're not going to know, but I have some tips and advice to help you when you're going through the process of choosing post back programs to really set yourself on a right track for success so that you can ultimately get in, do well in your post back master's program, and then be on your way to becoming a doctor by getting into medical school. I look forward to sharing more with you in regards to that.